In this video, I am going to tell you how you can use affiliate marketing on Facebook. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find different ways to make money online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you want to learn different tips and tricks on how to make money online. All right, so as I mentioned a few seconds ago, this video is going to be all about how you can use Facebook for affiliate marketing. Now this is actually going to be part of a multi-part series. So basically what you're going to take from this is a, a basic overview. Uh, you can use affiliate marketing on your Facebook page. There are a few different ways that you can do it and I'm actually going to tell you how you can do that. In general, there are two different ways. There's a free way and there's paid. This video is going to focus primarily on free, but stay tuned. There will be a, a video on paid as well. So within the free method, there are a number of ways that you can actually use affiliate marketing on Facebook. Now, one thing that I want you to, to uh, realize and get and, and remember and just keep in the back of your mind is uh, Facebook and social media platforms in general, their goal is to keep you on social media. They want to keep you on their platform. And so anything that deviates from that plan, so if you're sending them to an affiliate link or if you're sending them to a landing page or an opt-in page, there can be some challenges there. Uh, there are some things that you can kind of do to help mitigate or even that out. Uh, and we'll talk about those, but just know that in general, Facebook hates when you try and direct people off of their page or off of their their app or website or whatever it may be and in general they're not too fond of people trying to sell them things because in reality that's what facebook is trying to do they're trying to get you to click on advertisements so you can buy different things so that they can make more money all right so now that we have that out of the way that little disclaimer there are a number of things that you can do, a number of steps that you can take to make money with affiliate marketing. The first thing you can do is you can actually create a Facebook group. And so basically a, a Facebook group, I'm sure you, you're a part of them, you know what they are. It's a, a group of members from all over the world that are interested in a particular niche or topic. Now the benefit of this is you, since you're creating the group, you can kind of control the narrative. You can control the direction. You can make the group open. You can make it closed. You can make it public. You can make it unlisted. What I would recommend is actually making the group public and start off by adding relevant content. So let's say your your uh, Facebook page or your Facebook group is going to be on um, Sharpie pens. I have a Sharpie pen here, so that's what we're going to do it on. What I would do to begin is I would start off creating posts around um, maybe the different models of pen, uh, the history of the Sharpie pen, just basically just giving some information. You don't want to come off as a salesperson quite yet. You want to start building a following. Obviously, uh, you're going to start off if you if you are creating a Facebook group from scratch, you're going to start off with zero. And I actually recommend that you join other Facebook groups and try and push people to your Facebook group. That's another method that you can try. But you want to start off by providing relevant content and relevant information. You wanna show people that you are human and you're not just out there to get their money. So start off with relevant content. Um, I also recommend and highly recommend that you use video. Um, Facebook, like every other social media platform, is algorithm based and there's a tiered system. So um, video, because video has high engagement, that actually ranks higher than text. So if you're going to create content on Facebook, you wanna do video, image, and then text. So basically what that means is create uh, YouTube, or excuse me, create Facebook videos and put them on your page. That'll actually get sent out and you'll be able to get found a little bit easier. Um, you'll actually come up as recommended. So if and when possible, Create videos, actual videos, and upload them onto your Facebook group. And so eventually over time, you'll start getting people. Um, one way that you can help accelerate this is um, try and poach or steal people from other uh, Facebook groups. You can try and steal them from, from Reddit or Quora, or anywhere really, that has traffic already built in, and try and pr push them back to this group. Now, once you do that, once you get a following, um, and it can be as few as 10 people or, or as many as whatever, but once you get a following, that's when you want to start kind of pushing the affiliate information. So I would say probably one out of every four or five videos, throw in an affiliate link. Uh, again, if you're recommending pens, pens is kind of a bad example for this, but if you are recommending a special kind of pen, you could do a, a short little video about, hey, um, this is this is the, the old pen that I was using, you know, Sharpie. Uh, there's this new model out that I recommend 
click the link to check it out, and then you can send them to um, your affiliate offer. But what I would actually do and what works out a little bit better for you is send them to a landing page. Uh, the reason why you wanna send people to a landing page is for email marketing. If you know anything about me, you know anything about this channel, I am a huge proponent and fan of email marketing. And you know the number, the reason why you wanna do that is just there's just so many more benefits to email marketing versus just sending people your links. Um, the reason being is you can actually retarget people. Once they, they get on your email list, you can retarget them multiple times for different offers for the same offer. Um, um, you can actually keep them up to date. You can actually send more content and more traffic their way. They convert higher. Uh, there's just so many more reasons why I would recommend sending people directly to a landing page. And I've got videos on this channel about how to create a landing page if you're not sure. But send them to a landing page, collect their email address, give them a free guide of some sort, um, a free PDF that you found on the, the niche or topic that you're talking about, and then send them to the affiliate offer. So if we're thinking about this, um, you, you create a bunch of content on your Facebook group, then you add a link every fourth or fifth um, um, content, piece of content, and then send them to an opt-in page. You tell them, hey, click this link, you'll get a free guide to learn everything uh, about how to make your own Sharpie pen, I guess you could use. And then once you have that, that's when you send them to that affiliate offer. So that's one way um, with Facebook groups. The next thing you could do is actually, and, and I recommend this, go hand in hand, is create a business or a fan page. Now, business or fan page basically allows you to do a little bit more than just a regular um, private page or your personal page. If you are building a brand, if you're looking to make money or monetize with, with Facebook, I would certainly recommend create a fan or business page, which I'll talk about in, in a future video. But again, the, the, the process, the model is basically the same. You want to create the page and then put a bunch of content up. Again, show that you're a real person. Talk about some strengths and weaknesses, maybe personal struggles. Make it personable, personal. Um, and then again, you want to make sure that you're using video and then add hashtags. Believe it or not, hashtags actually work pretty well and it's much easier to get found via hashtags. And the cool thing, I guess the good and bad thing about, about Facebook is Facebook already knows everything about all of its customers. Um, they know where they work, they know what type of job, they know about what they make, um, they gather all of those data points. And if you add hashtags, your your fan page or your business page will automatically get sent out to the re re relevant parties, easy for me to say. Um, so make sure that you are adding those hashtags when you're creating content because it'll get sent out to where, where it needs to go and it will grow your business much faster than you just uploading information. So upload video, upload hashtags, and then eventually, again, every fourth or fifth, add in affiliate link. Hey, click this link in the description to get taken to the special Sharpie pen that only 20 people have. Uh, again, send them to a landing page, collect their email address, and then send them to the offer. So that's the second way. The third way is join Facebook groups that are already out there, that are already in your niche. Now, this is actually a little bit different because um, the, the Facebook page, page is probably already uh, mature. There's hundreds, if not thousands of people. You basically, what you want to do is you want to go in and you just want to provide helpful information. You want to get seen and you want to get recognized and identified as someone that a subject matter expert. So someone that has an idea of what they're talking about. They're very helpful and people will start inquiring about you. Hey, so how do you know so much about Sharpie pens? You can say, well, um, this is the link that I, that this is the link that will take you to everything that I know about Sharpie pages so that you can Sharpie pen so that you can become an expert like I am. And that can take them to an affiliate offer. You collect their email. Again, that takes them to an affiliate offer. But the cool thing about Facebook groups is it's already built in. The following is there. You just have to go in and be a frequent flyer answer almost every question and, and not just a surface level answer. You want to provide relevant um, information. You want to go above and beyond with their content. You want to be so helpful that people want to learn more about you. They want to check you out. So make sure that you, you if you join these groups, again, open or closed, um, add a, a ton of value, add a ton of content and just be helpful. Now do recognize that these Facebook groups, depending on the group, they do have some uh, rules and regulations that you need to follow. Spend a couple minutes in reviewing them. Um, one thing that I did in a Facebook group that I joined is I, I reached out to the moderator and said, hey, look, I have uh, YouTube videos that I, I update regularly on the niche. How do you feel about me posting them once in a while? And and then I said, hey, here's a sample of the video. Uh, do you mind taking a look and, and tell me what your thoughts? Uh, get the permission to upload them. 
so that when you, after you've added value, after you've answered a number of blog posts, you can create a, a new post of your own and say, Hey, check out this video or, or, or check out this, um, this PDF guide that, that I created about, about Sharpie pens and people will click on it because you are seen as a subject matter expert and they'll be more than likely to leave their email address and you kind of just poached them. So those are basically the, the three ways, um, the obvious ways to add your uh, landing page or add content to your personal page. That's not a great way to convert because those are usually friends and family. And unless you have um, a network of people that are quote unquote ride or die and they're just going to share everything that you put up, um, that's not a very high conversion and it might not be worth your time. Now, that's something that you can do kind of passively. Uh, if you already have content up, for example, if you already have like YouTube videos in your niche, uh, it doesn't hurt to link them in your personal page, but that's usually low conversion. Not many people are going to be sharing them or forwarding them on to people outside of your network. So it might not help as much. One thing that I do on my, my, um, fan page, my business page is I actually upload my YouTube videos directly into the page. I don't edit them out. Uh, if you ever go to my, my page, it's Alston Godbolt. You'll see tons of videos and they all start off with hello YouTube. I don't make any changes. Facebook doesn't care. Facebook wants a video because they realize it's a much higher engagement than than text or or even images. And again, the goal of Facebook is to keep you on Facebook, just like the goal of YouTube is to keep you on YouTube. Um, so <clears throat> If you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, make sure you click that first link in the description. In addition to knowing what I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free guide on, on learning email marketing. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, email marketing is is critical to the success of an affiliate marketer. A great affiliate marketer is a good email marketer. So make sure you remember that and check out that guide 